Hi guys, welcome to ASA Technical. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make a Windows 10 bootable USB drive supporting UEFI and legacy BIOS. Before continuing this procedure, make sure you have the following prerequisites Windows 10 IOC image file, Ventoy tool, and empty USB flash drive, minimum 8 GB of capacities. If you don't have Windows 10 IOC image file, then you can follow the screen instruction to download from Microsoft official website. Next, you need to download Fentoy. This is the most advanced tool to making a bootable USB drive. Here, you can read the detailed information about all the tested web series. Now, go to download page and download the latest version Fentoy for Windows. Once done, at first plug your USB drive into your computer's USB port. Now extract this .zip file. Next open the folder that you got after extracted. Now double click on vendor 2 diskexe file and click yes to run. Now select your USB drive. And click install. Read this warning message about your USB drive. If you agree, then click on yes. Again click yes to confirm. Okay, now our window has been successfully installed on our USB drive.
just copy the windows 10 iso file to the usb drive Okay, now this Ventai Udol USB is completely ready to use. Now let's check it's working or not. At first, go to your PC's BIOS. Next, go to Boot tab. Okay, as you can see, the BIOS mode shows the legacy. Now move your USB drive up out of the list to set as primary boot priority order. Now press F10 or go to exit tab to save configuration changes and exit from BIOS. Its advanced user interface just look like this after boots from the Ventoy bootable USB drive. Now select your ISO file by using up and down arrow key on the keyboard and press enter to direct boot from the selected ISO. Okay, our Windows 10 setup page is successfully loaded from the Ventoy USB drive in legacy BIOS mode. Now you can perform a fresh and clean installation of Windows 10. Also, you can repair your computer by using this portable USB. Okay, now let me show you by changing the BIOS mode legacy to UEFI. Now go to your PC's BIOS, go to boot tab, and change the boot mode legacy to UEFI. After that, go to exit tab to save configuration changes and exit from BIOS. Now once again go to BIOS. Under boot tab, select and configure your ASV drive as primary boot priority order. Now save configuration changes and exit from BIOS. Ok, after successfully boot from the Ventoy USB, just select your ISO and press enter to direct boot from your selected ISO in UEFI mode. Alright, our Windows 10 setup page is successfully loaded from the Ventoy USB drive in UEFI mode. Now if you want, you can perform a fresh and clean installation process or you can repair your computer by using this bootable USB drive. So I hope this simple guide was helpful for you. If you have any question, then please let me know in the comment section. Please like, comment and share. We need your support. And guys, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.